Okay, uh, here we're going to do a walkthrough video of uh, an actual shoot. So it's a property I've not been in. I've literally just taken off my shoes. And first thing to do is go around, open all the doors, turn on all the lights, get as much brightness into the property as possible. And oh yes, this is good. It's good. This owner has got the place looking fantastic. This makes my life enjoyable. Even simple things like check that the chairs are symmetrical. Look at that! Look at that! I always tell landlords um, to dress the place, set the table as if it's like a show home, um, and uh, <laughs> this one has done that magnificently. Oh, it is bright! That is bright, uh, bright sunlight out there. But even with the bright sunlight, still get those lights on, still find uh, all the light switches on, including something which people always forget, cooker hood, bingo, works, and other light switches. Ow, that's bright. Good, okay, so that's that room. Oh, nice and warm in here. Door stays open, good. Light on, got slidey door still. We're also, so in this shoot, I'm doing everything. Photos, floor plan, walk through video, which is kind of like what I'm doing just now, and um, a Matterport 3, uh, 3D scan as well of uh, the whole property. So with the scan, I want to make sure that we uh, are able to open all the wardrobes as well, because we'll get that in different scans and checking the wardrobes. Nice and empty, good. Perfect, just what we want. This is an owner that has done his homework. Bathroom, look at this! I'm sending this as an example to other landlords saying this is how to set up your property. Uh, heater behind the door, so that's as far as the door can stay open. Good. Let's see. Again, good carpet in here that stops the door from closing. I'm guessing this is the ensuite. Ensuite looking good. Toilet roll nicely done. No problems there. Again, for the Matterport scan, I'll do one of the scans actually in the shower. So open the shower door, bedroom, find the light switches. Okay, so th this bit's a bit, getting a bit boring now. I'll just go around, get all the lights on, and open all the curtains, get the place nice and bright. So for the, th mm, I'll just get this sorted. For the 360 or the 3D scans, yeah, I'm just wondering if I should leave that in the middle there. Yeah, I, I like that. They've, they've gone to the effort of putting that there. I'll leave that there. So for the 360 scans, I'm using Matterport uh, software, I'm using the Ricoh Theta um, 360 camera, um, which is quite an expensive little camera. It's about it's 700, 800 pounds. The tripod as well, the Manfrotto tripod, uh, which brings it up to kind of perfect height here. Um, and I need to, each time I take a shot, I need to hide out the room. The Matterport, uh, the Manfrotto, Camera uh, tripod was another about hundred and something pounds, so takes me well. So quite quite expensive kit, about a thousand pounds worth of gear there, and took quite well for it to um, arrive as well. So one scan while that's transferring, move the tripod a little bit, move it to about there again, get out of the room, hide from the shot, and take another scan. So that's the first thing I do. All the lights are on, all the doors are open, all the windows are open, and we'll go around getting the 360 scans and uh, importing them into the Matterport uh, software here. And as you'll see, the next one pops up there. Done. So I'll speed this bit up as well. Okay, part one done there, uh, and uh, as you saw, my iPad is really running out 
um, of battery there. So uh, always bring a power bank as well. Power bank's quite low in battery as well to charge it up in between shoots. So charging that up. And now the next part of what I do is actually take a measured floor plan. So these Matterport scans are fantastic. However, taking accurate measurements from their um, process scans isn't always that accurate. Uh, and certainly for sales, for legal reasons, uh, you need to have much more accurate, um, consistent measurements. So for the floor plans, I have a laser pointer measurer and I do a video recording of me going around the house taking the laser point measurements here. So that, as you can see, was four meters. This room is four meters, nine centimeters wide. So when I'm creating the floor plan afterwards, we have laser level accuracy um, size of the of the property. So that gives a much more accurate, it's all about accuracy, that's what it's all about. Um, so it's four meters nine. So next bit, I go around doing the full floor plan and then I make the floor plan on a, so on a separate software afterwards, six meters 82 that way, um, on a separate software called um, Metropix. So anyway, here I go for the floor plan walkthrough. Floor plan for one flat, one Western Harbour view, sitting room, four metres, nine. Two metres, 81 centimetres by depth of three meters ninety four centimeters initial width one meter fourteen then it extends out three meters of forty two centimeters first section of wall comes in two meters 42, goes back for the wardrobe two meters 27, the wardrobe base 70 centimeters going to the length there. However, at the back of the room, there is a section that comes in 31 centimeters. Uh, does the eight centimeters there? There we go. And one, two, three, Now I've done the VR tour and the floor plan. I feel I know this property uh, fairly well here. So now I'm in a position to actually start doing the video walkthrough tour. So that's another part of the, the post COVID-19 restrictions is that not only we're doing a VR tour, but also a walkthrough tour of somebody talking about all the things um, inside the property. The point of this, one of the reasons this is it gives, one, I can chat away to the people that will be viewing this, but also, there's things which you can't see or hear or feel, <laughs> if that makes sense, in a VR tour. So that's noises, that's creaks, that's cracks, that's outdoor noise, that's uh, traffic, all that kind of stuff. So here uh, is, is my tour of, of a property. On top of that video, I'll edit in uh, an external shot and the car park shot um, as well. So Walkthrough video of one flat one Western Harbour view. This is a two bedroom property with one en suite and a separate bathroom, um, ground floor property. So we'll start off with the view as this is Western Harbour view. We're out straight out there. The parking area is um, a good little distance away from your window and is not much through traffic there at all. There is underground parking with this property as well. Uh, property nicely decorated and nicely furnished. Um, in the sitting room, it's a sitting room kitchen, we've got our electric hob and sink. Um, we've got our freezers over here. And a dishwasher underneath the sink there with your cooker there. The hot water tank and washing machine are in uh, covered in the hall, along with your fuses there. The first bedroom, the smaller bedroom, still a double bed and slidey door wardrobe space here. First part of it's quite deep, put in there. And this one has a double door 
exit to your own patio out here that takes you to the central courts for Western Harbour. Very solid uh, windows, double glaze, really keeping out a lot of the any sound from out there as well. The bathroom. We've got we have more electric heaters over there. That completes the walkthrough for one flat one Western Harbour View. Property also comes with secure underground parking. So only is it now, after doing all that stuff, do I actually go and start taking uh, the photos of the property. Ah, I've got to make sure, simple things. Okay, straight, I'll need to fix that, that picture. It's a wee bit squinty, which some people get annoyed. So with this, uh, this, these are just the marketing photos, so I'm not needing to show off the depth of the wardrobes. So all the wardrobes uh, closed again. And... Just checking that everything is all good. Cushions are good, all that's good. And close all the cupboards and all that kind of stuff. And now time to go take the photos. And last but not least, uh, going back to the 360 scans. Uh, as you can see in the kitchen, I've opened up everything that's possible to be opened up. And I'll take a 360. So no, it won't be part of this, uh, the VR scan but I'll take a 360 scan and add it to the Matterport tour and uh, of the kitchen with all the cupboards open again because so change this to 360 capture because again we're trying to get it so it's the least amount of touching for actual viewers coming into the property um, so I'll do that of inside I'll close all the cupboards turn off all the lights go outside and get a VR shot of or a 360 shot of the uh, the underground garage and one from the outside as well and add that to the tour and the last and definitely not least is uh, while leaving the property making sure we turn off all the lights close the doors because one of the most annoying wasted expenses as a photographer is having to go back to a property which you've already shot you've already done and just having to go back just because you left a single light on or uh, a, a door was left ajar uh, and in fact if I remember rightly I'll check back on this video I think all the curtains were closed again security reasons and some just general preferences owner will want wow well, it's dark curtains closed so don't <laughs> just go done and walk out in fact that reminds me I'll close these ones as well um, yeah, because that, that is another, you've got to drive there, park there, get the keys if you've handed back the keys back to the office and all that kind of stuff. Uh, massive pain doing that just to come back and close some curtains. But again, that is your, your job as a photographer. So that's all that. Make sure you've been, ah, see, we'd have missed that one if I hadn't checked. Always very important to check everything. Pack up and go. Okay, I'll try and finish the video. Uh, pack up and go, and that's taking me just over an hour and a half uh, to get all that done. Now, driving home, get it on the computer, and we'll look at the editing part uh, and the additional costs um, of me owning the software and the stuff uh, for me as a photographer, what it costs me as well. That. <clears throat> So while I've got back home, I'm now uh, got I've uploaded the Matterport scan onto Matterport, and that's been processed. And I've got my video in Lightroom over here. What I'll do is I'll bring it both onto the same screen, so we can see exactly what's happening here. So put you down there. Uh, right. What I do for doing the floor plan now is I open up another, a different software that I've got called uh, MetroPix. This is the floor plan software that I've got here. I've already kind of started uh, the floor plan. Now with floor plans for sales, there's quite a legal aspect of making sure that you are 
accurately um, recording everything in this. So that's why I keep the video recording of the actual floor plan. So the floor plan um, I've done so far, and I get it accurate to the centimeter. So I can add in the window here, add that in, and I can choose the width here, two meters, and type in 12 centimeters done, and I know it starts starting from the exit of 83 centimeters, which is about there. And then make sure 83 centimeters. Kitchen area comes out a little bit from the wall. It's total depth is two meters 15. Two meters 15, so I need to choose, I'll move that wall there. Two meters 15, which should be, Tiny lot of difference there. Get that down, all that down, so nice and square there. And it is a fully um, open wall there, so add in the um, blank wall there and add in the rest of the kitchen units, going all the way across. And again, with the Matterport scan, it's good to just double check that is, does this look right? Does it come in a little bit? Am I able to check it there? Yeah, all looks good. Uh, there and here I'll add in the additional stuff. So we've got the cooker on that side and the sink at the back. Width. Two meters uh, 78. So the width was two meters 78. So just get that to there. So that gives me an idea of the width of that part. And uh, this software gives a current uh, running floor plan total up at the top um, here so I can see how much it's uh, gaining there. From then I'll add in the hall, add in new And once i have uh, happy with the floor plan, got the doors in the right places, got everything all sorted, I will go to the uh, maps and get a, a, what do you call it, a compass point here as well. So I need to find the windows were that way. So compass point here, down, bring that down about there. So total area 68 and a half square meters. I've um, got the double doors, single door, uh, large windows, ensuite. Oh, got to make sure, change that to bathroom, hall, storage, wardrobe, wardrobe, all looking good. So there's obviously sections which are just kind of water pipes, water pipes, more pipes and stuff um, out there. So that is the floor plan. I can do it in colour or um, black and white for sales. I usually just do it as Col as black and white, uh, leave it there. I just move kitchen diner there and go next and export that as it is there. Happy, 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 happy. Done. So the floor plan software that I use, uh, Metropix, that is a subscription based or pay as you go. Um, the number of floor plans that I do, I'm on the around about six, the premium subscription, um, doing sixty pounds. But that's then you've got to plus the VAT on top of that. Uh, so that's a little price uh, that you've got to consider whenever you're doing that. Um, and again, the pay as you go is uh, fine. That's probably the most expensive way of doing it. Um, but you've also got to remember that. Is you've got to add on the fat so it's about 10 pounds per floor plan to actually create uh, there the matter port uh, which has come out looking great let's just have a little we'll have a little zoom around of the actual matter port that we did and and again this is actually fantastic if you just want to do very quickly and not bother taking photos you can just screen grab these uh, photos from this however i would probably hold it a little bit lower down um to to get a shot which is a bit better without too much of the roof um and in here you'll see if i click on this i got the shot with the kitchen with all the drawers open for somebody to have a look and see what's inside 
all the cupboards. So we go back to walking around the house. I I did out the out the door here. I've got the garage garage space again. The three sixty camera did a fantastic job. Got shot from the of the rear of the building, and uh, and that was from the side there again. And if we go to the little dollhouse view, we can see the hallway here. So this is the hall, give you an idea of what it looks like just outside the property there. So good way to get to see inside uh, the property there. So and, and specifically the dollhouse view is, uh, is great. And with this, you've also got a way for, if somebody didn't have a floor plan, you could do your own measurements. So you can go floor plan measurement here. However, it is not as accurate as doing it obviously with the laser pointer. So you'd kind of put it around about there, over to the other side. And what that's going to be 4.7 meters. Yeah, yeah, because we said it was about 4.9, didn't we? Uh, click that one. And then let's give another one. I think the total length was about 6.8. Eight or something. Yeah, six point seven eight. Not too bad on this scan. It's looking pretty good, um, in here. So fairly happy with that. This whole weight, I remember, was two point four five. I think. Let's just check there. Yep, two point four two. Yeah. So not looking too bad in terms of uh, the measurements on this. However, uh, there can be some uh, minor inaccuracies uh, with that. But otherwise, uh, perfectly reasonable to do. And you can take a grab of that and use that as a floor plan if you so wish. You can just go up and click on photos and take a photo of that floor plan. If you, uh, then I'll show you here. Did I click that? Maybe I didn't click that. Uh, and then if we go back to inside a property, let's see, we kind of go, ah, oh, we didn't get the right angle of a certain room or something. We can go back into here and I can just take a photo of that. It'll say save and photo, view photo. It's not showing me the photo just now. I've obviously, maybe I've got on too big a screen. Let's go down the size. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and then download snapshot there. So you can go through, um, so a much quicker way is just not even using an actual camera. Uh, not something I would advise, obviously. Um, but uh, certainly a way, if, you, if you've missed a shot from a certain angle, you can always go in uh, back back into the room and get the shots or if there maybe there's an angle that you just couldn't get your body into but uh, or you couldn't get it quite wide angled enough you could always take that from there so uh, the uh, match report again this is a, a kind of subscription based as well um, we're doing around about uh, we're bouncing up around about 250 scans uh, on this, which I think priceless, yeah, we're talking about five and a half, uh, about six thousand pounds, um, a year on that. Then plus VAT on top of that, or about five hundred and, yeah, around about six hundred pounds per month, um, for the Matterport um software going on there. Uh, the photos I uh, send always go via Dropbox. Fortunately, that is free. However. If you're sending a lot of stuff, you might need to uh, pay for the upgraded uh, account. And then the photo editing software um, is Lightroom. Again, Lightroom is on a subscription base. Um, and this one is going, it's, it's only about £10 a month. Um, I just went for the Lightroom instead of the full, uh, Lightroom Creative CC, was it? I can't remember what it's called. But the, the main thing you want to get is Lightroom Classic to actually do the, the editing. Um, of the photos here. So again, going into all the corners of all the rooms, getting shots, making it nice and bright, thinking how it will look on the actual brochures when they're created. Um, the externals, I'll be um, taking away the blue, the grey sky and changing that to blue skies. Um, the shots out the front, getting a couple of angles. Again, this one here, we can definitely remove this blue sky, so a little bit of editing uh, for the externals as well. That would be nice and easy to, and, and again, shots where you can actually see into the room from the outside. So yeah, that's another subscription base um, thing that you need to do. So uh, quite a lot of extra costs on top of just driving there, parking there, getting the keys, paying for your insurance, all that kind of stuff, um, and uh, quite a lot of work going into it. So that 
Uh, there you go. That's that's it. That's all done. That's the floor plan, the photos, the walkthrough video. Um, and I suppose the walkthrough video, that was one other thing that was uh, done via Final Cut um, Pro um which is 300 pounds on uh on the apple site so something to be aware of if you haven't already got video editing software so there you go hope that helps bye bye